Do you frequently use Zoom as a speaker or an attendee and have issues with your audio, whether it's hearing the right thing or feeling like people are able to hear you clearly? Well, today I'm gonna walk you through some of my common troubleshooting tips that I give speakers or attendees who are in difficulty with their audio settings in Zoom. I'm Logan Clements, freelance event producer, and before we get into it, I do wanna remind you to like, subscribe, turn on that little notification bell so you're notified every single Monday when I drop new videos. You can also head over to my website, loganstrategygroup.com, and get my free checklist for the six questions that I love to ask virtual event platforms. I will say, little housekeeping note, if you hear any clicking in the background, that is my baseboard heater, so I promise I'm not playing some marionettes under the table. But without further ado, let's get back into it. As a virtual event producer, I've worked with hundreds of speakers at this point, helping them navigate the ins and outs of Zoom. Sometimes we're using Zoom as the actual host for our virtual event, and so our speakers and our attendees will both be in Zoom. But other times, we're using Zoom as a production studio or a virtual stage, so only our speakers are in Zoom and we're capturing their video and putting it out to a live stream. And so more often than not, I've had to help them troubleshoot everything from their Wi-Fi to the camera to their lighting to their audio. And one of the big ones I find that is helpful not only for speakers, but also anybody who uses Zoom, you might just use Zoom for meetings or checking in on your family. But if you've ever had some audio issues, I'm gonna walk you through how in your Zoom settings you can kind of troubleshoot and figure out what's the root of your problem. All right, so I'm here in Zoom and you can see here in my settings, I've got my video off, but down here at the bottom, we've got unmute and start video. And so if you click the little up arrow that's next to your mute button, this will show you very quickly what is your microphone and what is your speaker? So your microphone is your input. That's gonna be what's capturing your audio. And your speaker is gonna be what is broadcasting out the audio from everybody else in the Zoom call or in the Zoom meeting. So you wanna make sure it's frequent that you're selecting your microphone. If you just do same as system, sometimes that defaults whether it's a PC or a Mac, but usually that's just your computer microphone. This is, you can see right now it's highlighted. Anything with the check mark is what Zoom is currently um, recognizing. And so right now it's recognizing my Yeti stereo microphone, which is this little black guy you can see right there. Um, but sometimes I'll want it to be in my AirPods or these little cables I have or different things. But anyway, so if you are still having issues, I'd go to your audio settings. And this allows you to, again, do that test like we just did. It also allows you to adjust your volume levels for some reason, if you want it to be really quiet in Zoom or out of Zoom, you can adjust those um, accordingly. My other Zoom tip here for you is Zoom does this thing called suppress background noise. And so this is a really important setting just because it will automatically put you in the auto mode, meaning Zoom will auto try to recognize the sounds in your background. So maybe you're not hearing, if we were in Zoom, you wouldn't hear my baseboard heater clicking or my partner on his computer also clicking. That's because Zoom would be auto suppressing it. While this seems like a great feature, I do, I am hesitant to recommend it if you are a speaker. If you're someone who's soft spoken or has a lower tone of voice, Zoom might accidentally suppress you thinking that your voice is background noise. And it sounds a little weird to say it that way, but I have ha I did have an event where a speaker in our meetings and our tech checks, he was very energetic, we were, we were fine, had no issues. And then while he was giving his presentation, the, his audio kept going really low and real, and then coming back and then really low and then coming back. And it wasn't his microphone, it wasn't his Wi-Fi. It was the fact that his tone of voice had gotten to a pitch and a, yeah, a pitch, I guess I would say, that Zoom was auto suppressing his audio. So no matter if you wanna do auto, low, medium, or high, you can choose your based on your setting because we also know we're all working from home in different situations. So I, I'll keep mine at auto. But what I've checked now for all of my meetings is show in meeting option to turn on original sound. And they put it in here now saying it's a music or a professional audio setting. But what it really does is in that situation, if you were a speaker where your, your tone of voice was auto getting suppressed, while it would have been a bigger deal for us to try to get the speaker's attention, get him to go into his settings, adjust his background noise, what, by checking this little checkbox that says show in meeting option to turn on original sound, that is a one button solution should you ever have that happen to you. And what it does is now that I have it on, I can exit out of here and you will see up here in the upper left hand corner, 
it now says turn on original sound and you can click it on and you can click it off. And that is a one touch solution for solving your auto suppression issues in terms of your audio levels. So those are my go-to audio troubleshooting tips if you're using Zoom meeting. A lot of those apply to Zoom webinar as well. If you're a panelist, Zoom always also has updates. So maybe that menu doesn't look exactly like your menu does now. But as of the recording of this video, these are the best ways for you to double check and triple check that you have the best audio settings to set yourself up for success. And my final bonus tip for you would be for audio issues, if that's something that happens frequently, I would recommend using headphones. Caveat is when you use different kinds of headphones with Zoom, it sometimes has that issue where it's not recognizing the right device. But if you have wired headphones, those are the most reliable in terms of your input and your output with your sound. If you're someone who needs a more professional setup, maybe you're a professional speaker, or you just do a lot of video calls and really wanna present yourself professionally, you can utilize a professional mic like I am, but then still use headphones. You can use Bluetooth or wired headphones in to hear your speaker coming out. And that just ensures when you're hearing audio coming out of Zoom or coming out of whatever video call you're using, it's not getting heard into your microphone and put back as feedback. So highly recommend using headphones no matter what kind of a virtual event that you are attending, speaking at, or if it's just a regular old virtual meeting. And that's all I got for you folks. I'm Logan Clements, freelance event producer, and this has been another installment of my favorite tips and tricks when it comes to event production, strategy, and running your own business. Hope you learned something new this week about troubleshooting your audio issues in Zoom. And I look forward to talking to you guys again next week. Bye.